I have another trendy, classic, and comfortable seasonal sew along for you today. This is the Dell Jumpsuit by Seamwork. For my material today, I chose a quality get it while you can dead stock fabric from Beglarian Fabrics. They have a vast catalog of quality, sustainable fabric choices. This is a French terry that I'm using as a substitute for woven fabrics. I'm sewing it exactly as I would a woven with just a regular straight stitch. This pattern features wide legs, elasticated shoulder straps, and patch pockets. I've left links to the fabric and the pattern below so you can check out all the details. I hope you sew along with me. Let's get started. I've transferred my dart lines onto the wrong side of the fabric for my front piece. Now I'm ready to pin it in place. I'm going to fold the dart in half and pin through one dart leg and out the other. Doing this for both front pieces. Then we can take these pieces to the sewing machine and sew from the outer edge to the point, leaving thread tails at each point so you can tie them in knots. And then press your darts downward. Place one back piece on top of its corresponding front piece and match the side seams. And pin in place from top to bottom. Sew the side seams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, finish both sides of the seam separately and press the seam open. Repeat this for both sets of front and back pieces. I've taken both of my pocket pieces to the serger and I've serged all around the edges for all four sides. The pattern instructions tell you to take the top edge and fold it to the wrong side by a quarter of an inch and give that a good press. I'm going to skip that step because I want to reduce bulk here as I'm using this French terry. If you're using a lighter weight woven, go ahead and press that quarter of an inch and then turn this to the right side. And now we're going to fold that top edge so that it's right sides together right along the notches that you transferred from your pattern piece and give that a press. Do this for the top edges of both of your pockets and then we're gonna sew each of those sides with a 5 8 inch seam allowance from the top of the flap to the bottom. Trim each of those sewn top corners and then turn each of those top edges right side out, poking out the corners. And then fold the remaining side and bottom edges to the wrong side by 5 eighths of an inch. Then take both of your pockets back to your sewing machine and edge stitch close to that bottom edge of the main top flap from one side to the other. Here are one of the front and back pieces that we sewed together. I've gone ahead and transferred the pocket markings from the front and back pieces and I've transferred them using pins to the right side of the fabric. Now I'm going to place the wrong side of one of my pockets on the right side of the front and back pieces, aligning the top edges with my pins, and then pinning along the side and bottom folded edges of the pocket to secure. Now I'm going to take the pocket to the sewing machine and start at one top edge, back stitching to secure, edge stitching along the side and bottom edges until I'm back at the opposite top corner, once again back stitching to secure. Repeat all of these steps to apply your remaining pocket to your remaining set of front and back pieces. Place your two front pieces right sides together and pin together from the top to the bottom of the crotch curve. And repeat for your two back pieces. Sew these curved seams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then finish both sides of the seam separately and press the seams open. Now place your front and back pant units right sides together and we're going to pin along the inseam from the bottom of one pant set all along the curve and back down to the bottom of the opposite pant set. 
making sure to match those rise seams. Take it to your sewing machine and sew all the way around with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Finish your seams separately and press them open. Apply interfacing to the wrong sides of your front facings and your back facings. Place your front facings right sides together along the unnotched edge and pin in place. Repeat for your back facings once again pinning along the unnotched edges. Sew both seams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, finish the seams separately and press them open. Now place your front and back facing units right sides together and pin the side seams. Sew these seams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, finish the seams together and press them toward the back of the garment. Now we want to finish the bottom edges of the facing all the way around. I'm going to take it back to my serger and in one continuous seam sew all the way around those bottom edges. Fold both of your straps in half lengthwise, right sides together and pin in place. And then sew those long raw edges with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Trim your seam allowances by about half. And then you can use a safety pin as a bodkin to turn these straps right side out. And then give both of your straps a good press so that their seams are centered down the middle of one side. Cut two pieces of one inch wide elastic to a length for your size according to the pattern instructions. Then take your safety pin and attach it to one short end of the elastic and begin lacing it through the short end of your strap. Once you've pulled it through far enough so that the short end of the elastic is flush with the short end of the strap, Take it to your sewing machine and baste that elastic in place. And then continue using that safety pin on the inside to pull the elastic to the opposite end. And once the elastic comes out the other end, baste it in place on this side as well. Here are the right sides of the top strap edges of my front garment piece. I'm going to take one of the straps that I just prepared and place it right sides together with the front of the pants. The right side will be the side with no seam. Center it and pin in place. Do the same on the other side of the front piece with your other strap. And then take the opposite edges of those straps and place them right sides together with the back pieces. Once again, centering them at the top of the back pants and pinning in place. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and baste each of those straps in place with a quarter inch seam allowance at each of these four points. Now we're going to start attaching the facing to the jumpsuit. Place the right side right sides together with the front pieces, sandwiching your straps in between and pin in place. Matching your center seams do the same to pin the back facing to the back of the garment. And then you can start pinning in between, including your side seams. Now that I have that fully pinned all the way around, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew the facing all around the top of the garment with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, pivoting at each of those strap top corners. Now we can trim each of these corners at the tops of the straps. And clip into the curves of the neckline and the underarms, clipping to the stitching line but not beyond.
Then we're going to flip this facing over its seam allowance. And with the seam allowances oriented toward the facing, we're going to sew the facing to the seam allowances all the way around the facing close to the original stitching line. As you're understitching and you approach the tops of the straps on the neckline and the underarm side, your presser foot won't allow you to stitch all the way to those corners, so just stitch as far as you can and backstitch to secure. Now we can turn that facing entirely to the inside of the garment. Using a needle and thread, I'm going to secure the facing at each of the seams inside the garment. I'm going to sew the bottom of the facing to the seam allowance on both sides. At my center back seam, both of my side seams, and my center front seam. For the bottoms of both pant legs, the pattern instructions tell you to fold the bottom raw edge to the wrong side by a quarter of an inch, and give that a press, and then fold it once more by an additional 5 eighths of an inch and press that all the way around. I've just gone ahead and surged the bottom raw edge all the way around for both pant legs, and I'm going to fold it by the same full seam allowance, folding that bottom surged edge to the wrong side by 7 eighths of an inch, and pinning in place all the way around. Do this for the bottoms of both pant legs, and then sew close to that inner edge all the way around. And now your jumpsuit is complete. Thank you for watching this sew along. Check out the rest of my video library for more great sewing inspiration, and I'll see you in the next video.